camera straight. Good morning. Okay. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Hallelujah. Good morning. Come on in. We are live. Come on in. God is so good. God is so good. Anybody having any faith challenges this week? Any faith challenges this week where you are being tested and therefore it is important that you start speaking the word of God? Uh, faith challenges is just that. It's just to challenge your faith. But how many know that we are up for the challenge? Right? With God, with us being on the Lord's side and honoring him. We have the victory. The Bible lets us know that we always win. So I want to see you all coming in this morning. Come on in. For some reason, it's delayed. Here we go. I want to see you all there coming we in go. this morning. I see Marie Pierre and Jacqueline. Good morning, Brenda, Shirley, Alicia. Good morning. Good morning, Stephanie. God bless you. She's in Maryland now. I miss you, lady. Good morning, Nadine, Lisa, and Sabrina. Good morning, Minister Nina. You're up for the challenge. <laughs> Amen. Lord Jesus. Good morning, Sharonda. God bless you. Good morning, Brenda. Brenda Gandy. Good morning, Minister Trey. Look at Travis and Maggie, Teresa. Good morning. Well, it is seven o'clock and my goal is to um, really just be in the place of confession, confessing the word uh, so that we can be up for the faith challenge. Uh, it's been a week here. Uh, it's only what's today, Wednesday, but you know, all of us have to go through some challenges at times, <clears throat> but we know who we serve and we understand our assignments and therefore we're okay. It's like a, a police officer or a military person or a fireman, you know, we know they know their assignment. So there will be difficult times in their assignment, but they expect it because of who they are. And so it's the same way as believers. Uh, we do not get discouraged. We do not quit. We do not give up when challenges come because we understand what? The assignment. <laughs> Amen. And so I want to remind us that we are having uh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, these chats so that we can be ready as we push through the second half of the year, not in a surviving state, but in a thriving state. That's how God wants us. We thrive in the word. We overcome. We are more than conquerors. We have to see ourselves as that. But sometimes when you're going through those seasons, it doesn't feel like that. But what ignites us and what makes us strong is confessing the word of God. When we started off the year at Majestic Life Church, we started with the principle the Lord gave us. He said, a house divided against itself cannot stand, period. And the Bible speaks of building something eternal. And so it's important that we do not store up for ourselves treasures on earth where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and still, but store up for yourself treasures where in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in. And so we have to continually walk by the spirit. And when you seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, we understand everything else is added, but first is God. And so Today, I'm going to talk to the redeemed, because when you're redeemed of the Lord, you are bought with the price, amen, and it is the blood of Jesus Christ who has redeemed us, and so when you're redeemed of the Lord, then you have benefits, and so the word of God says something interesting in Psalms 107 and 2, it says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he hath redeemed from the hands of the enemy and gathered them out of the lands from the east and the west and from the north and from the south. So the redeemed of the Lord, the Bible says, let them say so. Well, let them say what? Let them say how they've been redeemed. Glory to God. Let them testify. Let them speak the word out of their mouth. See, say means to speak, right? Say means to open up your mouth and say something. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. The Bible says in Psalms 19 and 14, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in my sight, O Lord, my strength and my what? My redeemer. 
Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return for it, but accomplish that which it was to do. So it's to redeem what it was accomplished to do. So the word goes forth and it redeems the blessing, redeems the, uh, the miracles. It comes forth. And so, but the thing about it is we have to say so. We have to confess the word. I love... Um, Again, Psalms 106 and 10 says, and he saved them from the hand of the enemy and, he, and those that hated them. And he redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. Again, it's the redeemer that we have to give thanks for. So let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So we're going to tell of his goodness. We're going to tell of God's mercy. We're going to tell of how he has delivered us and brought us through. And this is how. This is how we can get to that place of walking through the challenges because we all have them, but sometimes we don't talk about them. And so when the redeemed start talking, when the redeemed start sharing, when the redeemed start saying, hey, he brought me back from uh, heroin, he brought me back from crack, he brought me back from addiction, he brought me back from uh, uh, being money hungry, he brought me back, he redeemed me. When we when the redeemed start saying so, oh, that's how we overcome by the, the blood of, by the blood of the lamb and by the what the word of our testimony. You shatter the enemy's schemes. You shatter the enemy that makes you feel like you're alone. That makes you feel like nobody else knows what you're going through, that you just don't want to be in the earth anymore, where you feel like uh, it, it just is only happening to you. But when the redeemed of the Lord speak up and say so, then things start shifting. And so we also need to be on the witness list. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Because we represent Jesus. It's like when you're in a courtroom, you know, you're, you're going to be the one that re represents Amen. Uh, you, you can be like the attorney who represents someone. Well, we represent Jesus. We Everything we do ought to be uh, representing him. And then we're also on the witness list. Why? Because we done seen what God has done. And we want to testify in court what the Lord has said and what he has done for us. Amen. That is our mindset. And so as we start speaking what he says, then we can start confessing the word even with a greater measure of, uh, of strength as we emphasize how good God is. Do you know there are people who can talk about their, and I'm going to, I'm about to get into that word. I mean, into that preaching mode, but I want to do some confessions today. But just remember, there are people that can talk about sports. You can talk about your favorite artists, your hobbies, uh, all the things that you love to do. But when you know that you love the Lord and you can tell people who love the Lord, why? Because they're always saying so. Because that, that trumps everything else. And you can still have a life full of hobbies and fun and travel. But it's something about those that know Jesus, that really know. And it's like fire shut up in their bones. I say that all the time because it has to come out. The word has to come out. When you keep putting word in, that word has to come out. Uh, yesterday I was talking to a dear friend. She was she's had been going through a little challenge here and there, and she started opening up her mouth and speaking the word and confessing, and she's the redeemer. I was getting healed on that call, and so that's that's the strength of it. So let's get let's get into our confessions. Uh, we want to make sure we have time for that. Uh, Colossians 1:13, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Our confession is. I walk in your godly kingdom today for Jesus has destroyed Satan's kingdom in my life. Satan, I command you to stop your maneuvers in my life. I bind you. I cast you out of my life today. You cannot touch me. Jesus is the Lord of my life, my spirit, my soul, my body, my relationships, my circumstances, my finances, and my ministry. Glory to God. And also you can look at Luke 10, 19, 1 John 5 and 18 as well to meditate upon. The second confession is 2 Corinthians 2 and 14. Now thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph in Christ and maketh manifest the savior of his knowledge by us in every place. The confession is, I walk in total triumph in every situation for Jesus has destroyed failure in my life. 
I am an overcomer and can do all things through Christ. I have the victory and the victory has me. I am a victor and I am a king. That's Philippians 4, 13 and 1 and John, 1 John 5 and 4. Those are other uh, scriptures that you can meditate on that confession. Let's look at uh, the third confession, Ephesians 2 and 6. And hath raised us up together and made us sit together where? In heavenly places in Christ Jesus. The confession is, I reign from my heavenly throne. Room position for Jesus has destroyed an inferior position in my life. I rule and reign with Jesus today. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Father, you are Lord of heaven and earth. And we go out and possess the land today. Satan's doors are closed and many doors are open for me to speak the word boldly. First John 4 and 4, Luke 10 and Joshua 1. Amen. Second Timothy 1 and 7. This is our fourth confession. For God hath given us a not for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Our confession is, I walk in soundness of mind and divine direction. For Jesus has destroyed confusion in my life. I identify with Christ's mind. I have the mind of Christ. I will not listen to the voice of doubt and discouragement. Also, that's from 1 Corinthians 2, 16, John 10 and 5, and Joshua 1. Hear that. I have the mind of Christ. Sometimes if you, don't, if you can't say that whole confession, just speak that. I have the mind of Christ. Just keep speaking. I have the mind of Christ. Because the mind of Christ will only speak the word. The mind of Christ won't speak anything negative. The mind of Christ speaks wisdom. The mind of Christ speaks the love of God. And then we have 1 Peter 2 and 24. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes, what? Ye were healed, already healed. Our confession is I walk in divine health for Jesus has conquered sickness in my life. I walk in divine health and divine life because I have the divine nature of God. Jesus took all my sicknesses upon his body and by his suffering, I am healed. Divine health pulsates through every cell of my body every day. Sickness and disease cannot and will not latch itself to my body. That's a confession that you have to say boldly. When we think about what Jesus did on that cross, he brought peace to us. He is the Prince of Peace and peace means shalom, mean everything in your life is healed. Everything in your life is whole. No, no sickness, no disease, no, your finances are good. Your home is good. And this is why we can declare the word boldly, no sickness can latch itself to your life. And you speak that word boldly, hallelujah. We have two more confessions. Philippians 4 and 19. But my God, y'all know what we're gonna say after that. You know what we're gonna say after that. My God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Ooh, geez. Stop right there. You can just meditate on the fact to say my God. You can meditate on that, and that's a confession. My God, enough said. Hey, he's my God, glory to God. And so the confession is, I walk in financial abundance. God supplies all my needs, not half of them, but all of them. Satan, take your hands off of my finances. Finances, I command you to be loose from the world system and place at a place an account today so I can do the work of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we are. When you say that Satan, take your hands off my finances, say it with boldness. If you're walking down the street and some young person came and tried to take your purse or take your wallet, what would you say? You would probably go off and make sure they didn't get it. And you say, take your hands off, give it back. Well, in the same way, when we confess the word, that's how we say it in the spirit. The enemy has no legal access to the believer, to the redeemed. 
He has no legal access to your stuff, so you command it to get it back. You declare it to get it back, and you stand firm with it and bold with it. Oh my goodness, that's what that's our confession of faith. And then the last one for today, because there's always some words to confess, praise the Lord. Uh, Luke chapter four, verse 18. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted and preach deliverance to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind and to set at liberty the, the those that are bruised, amen. And so the confession, is father your anointing is on me today it breaks yokes off the oppressed causes blind needs to be eyes to see deaf ears to to hear hearts to open and understand it causes the sick to be healed and needs to be met and it draws attention to your word father your word is alive in me today Revelation knowledge flows out of me every day. I operate in the gifts of the spirit as the spirit wills today. Amen. Now faith is, it's today. We are speaking the word today. So this, this confession here, you can look at Isaiah 61 and then also 1 Corinthians 12 and meditate on that. But this confession is saying the redeemed of the Lord, we are blessed. So when we come in, healing ought to be in the room. When we come in, uh, just peace and joy and the oppressed are set free and delivered that's what we carry because we belong to god amen amen i hope uh, you are blessed today by the word and by the confession of your faith you can always replay it again this is a 15 minute segment not to entertain you but it not even to really inspire you in that in that regard but it is to get the word out so that you can speak the word in that regard it should inspire you but it should speak the word amen Amen. Well, hi. Oh, there goes. Okay. Minister at Revelation Knowledge flows out of me. Absolutely. Tinia Brown. Good morning. Good morning, Mother Regina. Good morning. Lord, use her for the kingdom. Amen. Chantel, God bless you, Norma and Rhonda DeCall. God bless you, Shirley. God bless you, Cynthia, Minister Cynthia and Bobby Whitehead. We do. We belong to God and him alone. Linda Gibson. Walter Jenkins. Good morning, Minister. Amen. Let's praise him. Yes, Lord. All right. We know that's a kingdom warrior. Let Minister Leslie. She don't play. Sam Williams. God bless you. Danette Wilson, I believe that I receive all declarations made by the blood of Jesus. Amen, Danette. Maylene Smith, you have a blessed day as well. Uh, Melissa, God bless you. Con confessions, as she said, and confirmation. Amen. Jackie, good morning. A newlywed, Jackie Honor, we love you. Diane, God bless you. God bless you too. Robert Moore, amen, amen. Yes, we, we getting our faith together. <laughs> Glory to God. Good. Amen, Minister Trey. Tammy, God bless you. He is worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Well, we're going to sign off right now. Yes, Joyce, no sickness can latch itself to you in Jesus' name. Amen. But we'll see you on Friday, and we're going to continue to confess the word. And we're doing this all month, so we'll see you until the end of June. This is the beginning of the second half of the year. God bless you, and I love you much.